Hello everyone, Troy here. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate TGM's 150 amp pulse width modulator version 2. In a previous video, I went over some of the connections on the pulse width modulator, and you will be getting a manual that describes uh, every aspect of the pulse width modulator in detail, including the connections, but I'm going to go over it just briefly right now. Now, of course, this is the connection for ground. That can be connected to the battery negative or to the chassis. This right here is the input from the battery positive. Now, normally this would go to your sale positive, but uh, the way we're doing things is a lot different, and so this comes in from the battery positive. This right here is the pulse signal out that goes right over to the cell positive. Okay, that's right here. And then right here you have 12 volts, and that needs to come from a switch source on your vehicle. Preferably, you know, the, something that's only on when you switch the ignition. And um, you can see here this connection here that goes to the cell negative goes right under. The board here and that's connected to the battery negative on the vehicle. Okay, and we're going to have Mike connect to our battery positive. Okay, now the pulse modulator is on. It's in normal operating mode which is indicated by the green LED okay right now we're drawing 13.2 amps the reading on the digital multimeter is 13.2 millivolt and remember as I went over in a previous video you can use any standard digital multimeter to measure frequency duty cycle and current I'm connected right to these uh, inserts uh, for the uh, jacks for the probes connected right to the multimeter and so what I'm going to do right now we're drawing 13.6 amps it's going is you know as this cell heats up your current draw begins to increase I'm going to add some electrolyte and we're going to get this up to around the somewhere between 30 40 amp range and uh, you will be able to see a transition from um, normal operating mode to current limiting mode. And the red, the green LED will change to red. And you will see it drop down. Actually, it's starting to happen now as it goes up. You can see it now. Um, if that's not due to the uh, auto this fan. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, it's going to go into current limiting mode even here. See there? And you see the transition. Notice how clean the signal is. Uh, when you look at the rising edge, you look at that, it's very clean. No voltage spikes there. Uh, you won't get them because, uh, and I'm not using the filtering capacitor. Great Steps has been taking, uh, taking in the uh, layout of the circuit board and uh, to minimize parasitic inductance, parasitic capacitance, and uh, we have a solid ground plane, so very low um, ground impedance. And so there's no filtering capacitor inside this pulse width modulator, none whatsoever. No diode for voltage spikes, none whatsoever. There's active circuitry that has been implemented to deal with those issues. And you can see the results there. So what I'm going to do, just with my index finger and a thumb, I don't. I can use the uh, screwdriver, but I don't have to. I'm going to increase the trip point because we're going to uh, add electrolyte, and uh, we're going to step this up to. Now you see already the current is rising. We need to get it a little bit above there. So we're at 17. 18, a little more. We want to get up to the uh, okay. We're at 22. Okay. 
Okay, so we're in the range. So I won't put quite an entire teaspoon in there. Close. should do it right there. Okay, so we're at uh, 25.9 amps, 26 amps. Um, I'm going to just add, uh, to get us there, just add a little more. We might put us over the top. Let's see where we're at. Okay, that, now, no, 28.4. Now, as, as it heats up, it's going to um, fold back. Probably should be right at about 30 amps. Now, an easier way to do it um, is if you set the dip switch to um, uh, turn number uh, five on, you can actually just, it, it, you'll get a reading of... Um, if you want to set it for uh, 30 amps, you, you get a reading of, uh, you just set it to where that reads 30 millivolts and you set. But you can see here, we're at, um, well, we're at 20, it started to fold back at uh, 27 amps. Um, let's take it up one more time. I don't want to put all this in, but that'll take, we'll get it right at about 30 amps. Yeah, that will go right there. So right now we're 30 amps, and it will not allow to go uh, past that. It's starting to fold back 30, 30 amps, 29.9, up in there. There we go. And uh, there we go. Oh, not quite. There we go. So you can see, you can really finely tune this. You can with the as far as the uh, fold back percentage and um, and everything uh, to whatever sale that you're using. Now to um, order these, you simply go to www.shop.tgmresearch.com and you can place your orders there. And what we're going to do is to keep the price down for everyone. Uh, once we get, um, we're going to run batches of maybe 50 to 100. And uh, because the components that we're using here is much more expensive than the ones that you see in the other pulse width modulators. So there's a point where, you know, if you order 50, you know, the, the, drop, the price drops dramatically for those components. And even more at 100. So... If we just made one or five, the price would have to be too high, and we want to keep that down. So that's going to do it for us today, and uh, I'm going to post the, the uh, ordering information at the end of the video, and we look forward to seeing you next time.